Hi. It has always been my passion to help students author their own stories and tell them from their own unique point of view. But before I get into my talk, I wanted to just give you a little bit of background about me. I came from the dental industry where I worked for about 20 years before I embarked on the journey of education. And I took a, a position as an instructional assistant at our local high, middle school first. And then um, I was fortunate enough to work with a teacher there who was really, really innovative and encouraged me to go on and get my teaching degree. And I was 39 at the time, and I said, if I go to get my teaching degree, I'll be 44 when I'm done. And she said, you'll be 44 either way. So I went to college. And at 44, I graduated in, um, and, in 2005 and landed my first teaching job here at Cap Pickering as a math teacher. And when I came into Cap Pickering at the time, they were rolling out a one-to-one -one program, and I fell in love with technology. And when I was here, I, I went and got a master's degree as an instructional technology specialist. Just this past September, I accepted a position at uh, Jenkintown School District as a digital media arts and design teacher. And in, the, in those six-year period, I also became an Apple Distinguished Educator and a Google Certified Teacher. As you can see, I'm a little bit of a late bloomer. Um, my first two months at Jenkintown, in my new job, uh, in October, I had received an email from a first grade teacher who was really excited and asked me if I was willing to collaborate with her on a project with her first graders to tell the story of the rules of the elementary school called CARES. And I, a light bulb went off, and I was so excited, and I said, this is the perfect challenge-based learning model. I'm teaching a computer apps class at the time, and the, my computer apps class can collaborate with the first graders, and we can make a movie to tell the story. So we set out to talk about that. And um, we had to come up with a plan, and the kids sat down and decided what roles they would play. I had to teach computer apps the iLife suite of iPhoto, GarageBand, and iMovie. So they had to figure out who was going to do what, who was going to be in charge of what, and who was going to mentor the first grade students under the iPhoto, GarageBand, and iMovie to make this movie and to create a book. So this is just kind of what this looks like when they sat down, and honestly, it is expect the unexpected. They had to de determine their own roles, figure out what they wanted to do, and then they had to go down to the elementary school, introduce themselves to the first graders, and talk about what team they were going to be on, so the first graders could take an opportunity to figure out who they wanted to work <laughs> with to author the content. So I'm the oldest of seven, and my parents always said, go outside and play, because when I was in high school, it seemed like my mother was having children every 10 minutes. So they didn't want us inside playing, because we were always waking up a kid. And that has kind of been my mantra through my educational experience, to go outside and play. So we went outside. We left my classroom. We walked down to the elementary school. We met with the first graders. We did a lot of planning. We wanted to make sure the first graders had a voice and wanted to, and to create this content um, from their own unique point of view. And then on the days that we were back in the classroom, uh, Chris, who was a football player uh, in my class, decided to take over the whiteboard, step up, and I felt like I was at a halftime show, <laughs> at a halftime in a locker room at a football game, and he was like, okay, where are we? Where do we need to go? How are we gonna get there? Who's gonna do what? We need to accomplish this. And he, you can see he took over my whiteboard and started drawing players on the field to talk about how we were gonna get there. So the great experience about that is that you have students that step up into leadership roles to take on these really big projects. So the first graders also came up. This is my classroom. First graders also came up. They were videographers. They were photographers. They were creating their own original music for the, I, for the movie we were making. They were doing their own original artwork and telling their own stories from their own point of view about what CARES meant. And we wanted to make sure that we put all of the equipment in the hands of the first graders. So my kids knew that this was going to be told from that first grade point of view. Uh, if you've read Randy Pausch's book called The Last Lecture, he talks about the head fake. And the head fake has two meanings. In football, it's when your opponent moves his head one way with his intention of going the other way. In education, the head fake is about the indirect learning. So you put this project under the guise of something simple, like, oh, let's make a book, let's make a movie. And what's happening underneath is all of this really deep learning of how to handle, manage, organize a big project and create content that you're going to deliver at the end. 
So this is the cover of the book, Cares. We actually authored the book. Here's the book here. And just to give you a little bit of what it looks like inside, the stories are all told from the first grader's point of view. All the pictures are told from the first grader's point of view. All the artwork in the book, you can see, is all theirs, all their images, all this. We even had them sign it at the end. And then what we did is, um, I think one of the most important things at the end of projects like this is the presentation and reflection on the project. So we took the book down and the movie, and we sat down with the first graders, and they said, oh, they asked Patrice, who was the lead on the book, if she would read the book to them. So they all piled onto the mat, and she read the book to them, and they were so excited. And as you can see, there's Chris in the background, because he got on the mat every single day with those kids. He got down low with them and got in it with them to, to, make, to make this happen. We also presented it to the school board and we had a premiere movie night for the parents. So we invited all the parents in, all the first graders, and then my students and their parents, and we rolled it out to them in this kind of premiere movie format. And it was a phenomenal experience to hear my kids reflect about the journey of creating this content and authoring it and helping the first graders. And it was so fun to see the little first graders saying, that's my picture, that's me, as we were going through sharing the content. So here's the story of CARES from the first grader's point of view. CARES is if someone is walking down the hallway, and he trips, and someone else is walking down. He helps him up, and they keep walking. Cares to me is maybe a bunch of people, and one person is different, and you're asking them to play with you, and I think that's Cares to me. Using cares in the school is like, um, like showing respect and being eagerness to learn and staying safe.
So I promise you the whole soundtrack, all the original music was created by the first graders. It was just an amazing journey to put the technology in the hands of them. And so my mantra has really been to create content like a first grader. Uh, this is one of my favorite quotes that inspires me. It's on the desktop of my computer, and it's that every practice has a set of rules which governs it. Mastery occurs, uh, mastery occurs with the realization of these rules, but innovation occurs at the point of intelligent and creative rebellion against them. Thank you.